Hey everybody, this is Bacon Blaster. I have a, a new Pulsar scope here today. This is the Pulsar FXQ38. It is Pulsar's new forward thermal attachment. So this is what it comes in, what it came in to me is a nice little carry pouch. It's got a few things inside of it. Nice zipper of the pouch. First thing is the instruction manual. It's in uh, several different languages. But wanted to point out this is the core FXQ38. They also have an FXQ50. The numbers are referring to the size of the lens. And this is a thermal imaging scope front attachment. That's the instructions. I also have a, an adapter to be able to swap out the ocular lens to mount to different bushings that'll attach to your day scope on the front of it. And we'll go into that in detail here in a little bit. You have the actual scope itself. So it's not very large. Uh, the manual is about four inches across, maybe five, maybe about five. So you can see, see the scope itself isn't really all that big. Uh, pretty easy, easy to use. It does come with a nice little hand strap lanyard that threads into the threaded bushings that are in the bottom of the scope. One thing about these holes is uh, I thought they'd be a normal quarter 28 threaded hole which is what all your normal camera attachments are it's a different thread pattern it's a little more fine I haven't figured out what it is I haven't taken the time to actually figure it out yet but it does match the thread pitch on the pulsar weaver mounts uh, more to come on that in the future pretty handy to have a nice little lanyard though um, have a standard pulsar lens cap they make a pretty nice lens cap for all their items have the focus main focus ring four control buttons so you have a, a power on and a nuke button a menu button and then your adjustments for the menus have a, a diopter ring for adjusting for your eyesight does come tonight with a nice little uh, eyepiece a little rubber eyepiece some standard fare for a thermal scope uh, the neat thing about this is that it kind of fills dual role being a handheld and a forward attachment it does have take two CR123 batteries. The battery cover it does have a lanyard to the body. And instead of being an actual threaded thing, it just it's a quarter turn and it pops open. Very easy. Two CR123s, battery covers lanyard to the body so you can't lose it in the dark. And then whenever you uh, go to replace it, you don't have to worry about threading it. You just push it in and it clips and just make sure it clipped in there. That's it, pretty simple. Uh, so let's go into this forward attachment device. You see on the end there's this large locking cam, these lugs. So that will actually detach the eyepiece from the scope. You can see the actual lens inside, or the, the screen, and then the lens for the eyepiece. I'll set that out of the way here. And we have the adapter that goes to the different scope bushings. Comes with two nice rubber caps to keep your actual glass inside of there scratch free and clean. Here's the other end. So this end has little standoffs which will match up to the standoffs in the scope. And to make it pretty easy in the instructions, there's this little bayonet clip and the pulsar label. So whenever you go to attach this, you're going to line up the bayonet clip, push it in, and this one's actually stiff, which is good. And then turn that locking cam. Now this piece attaches to bushings that go onto your scope. It'll go in, rotate to the scope pins, and then you have a bayonet lug that attaches it. Um, so pretty versatile. It's a different way to mount it than other forward thermal devices or clip-ons I've seen. I have not yet mounted it on a scope. We're gonna do that in a later video. This is just the first quick overview of the Pulsar Core FXQ38. Uh, please post any comments or questions you may have below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.